how to multiply two numbers how to multiply two numbers how to multiply two numbers ending with five we are just discussing from the last 15 minutes about the number which is ending with five we are continuing that concept with multiplication also how to multiply two numbers ending with five the concept here is a number suppose if it is ending with five before that the number digits are a a number ending with 5 before that the digits are b a5 into b5 it is given by a into b it is a into b plus a plus b by 2 right plus a plus b by 2 just to 2 minutes before we discuss the concept if a is even b is also even even 5 into even 5 will give me 25 odd 5 into odd 5 will also give me 25 if a is odd b is even or vice versa different family will give me 75 that means a5 into b5 is given by a into b plus a plus b by 2 last two digits is given by 25 or 75 depending on a b a and b's nature if you get any decimals in a plus b by 2 kindly ignore the decimals now what is the meaning of ignoring the decimal suppose for example i want to get i i got it as 3.1 ignore this point 0.1 and write it as 3 suppose if i get 3.9 again ignore point 0.9 and write it as 3 don't approximate 3.9 to 4 i am asking you to ignore the decimal not approximate it right now see here sir three examples in this logic three examples let me put this screen also three examples suppose for example 65 into 85 a value is 6 b value is 8 even 5 into even 5 last two digits is 25 first write the last two digits next a into b 6 into 80 is 48 plus a plus b by 2 6 plus 80 is 14 14 by 2 is 7 your final answer is 55 25 very very easily you can solve all these questions if you are good in concept very easy way of solving problems suppose for example i have 35 into 65 or 35 into 55 for that matter same logic odd 5 into odd 5 last two digits will be 25 because same family a is 3 b is 5 3 into 5 15 3 plus 5 by 2 it is 8 by 2 8 by 2 is 4 3 15 plus 4 is 9 no, sorry 15 plus 4 is 19 answer is 1925 1925 first is even 5 into even 5 next is odd 5 into odd 5 the only other case left is a different family suppose for example 65 into 75 even 5 into odd 5 last two digits will be 75 6 into 7 it is 42 plus a plus b by 2 6 plus 7 13 13 by 2 is how much 13 by 2 is 6.5 ignore that decimal 0.5 write only 6 answer is 48 75 a plus a into b plus a plus b by 2 last two digits are 25 and 75 is the concept we are discussing to multiply any two numbers which are ending with 5 i believe that my students are very very clear with this particular concept also again kindly comment in the live chat sir i want to keep tracking you people whether it is comment clear or not so that let us move on to next concept if it is clear answer is 4875 specific techniques all these are definitely required for you to crack a question on simplification we never know what kind of questions they will ask in simplification so better is to learn so many things to make our problem solving very simpler squares of numbers squares of numbers containing squares of numbers containing first technique first heading in this squares of numbers containing in that first variety is only once squares of numbers containing only once suppose i have a number which consists of only once i want to find the square of such kind of numbers 
For example, there is a number triple one which has only ones. I want to find the square of triple one. Triple one whole square I need to find. Now listen carefully. Very very easy technique. If you take triple one, how many ones are there in triple one? There are three ones in triple one. Because there are three ones in triple one, start from the first natural number one, write down till three. Sir, why are you writing only till three? Because there are three ones. After you write down till three, go in the reverse direction, come back to one. If I go in the reverse direction, the numbers which I will meet is. Two and one. Write down that two and one. One more example. Suppose I have five ones. Five ones square. I need to find. Start from one right till five. One two three four five. Come back to one. Four three two one. Right. One two three four five. Four three two one. Suppose for example, I have four ones. Tell me the answer, sir. Four ones. Write down from one to four. Come back to one. These are the specific techniques which we are discussing as of now for only ones. Squares of numbers containing only ones. Just glance for a second before we move on to the next concept of specific techniques. Squares of numbers containing only ones. Squares of numbers containing only ones. I believe the idea is clear for you, sir. Till here. Squares of numbers containing only ones. Next, second specific techniques. Suppose if the number consists of only threes. If the number consists of only threes. If the number consists of only six. And then if the number consists of only nines. Only threes, only six, only nines. Now listen carefully, sir. All these will have similar kind of logic. Suppose I have. Triple nine whole square. Listen, everyone carefully, sir. Everyone listen carefully. Triple nine whole square. Step number one. How many nines are there in this given number? There are three nines. If there are three nines, first of all, what is the digit that is repeated in triple nine? The di digit that is repeated in triple nine is nine. Nine square is how much? Eighty one. Write down eighty one. Right, right square is eighty one. Write down nine eighty one. Second step. How many nines are there in triple nine? There are three nines. If there are three nines, put two dashes before one. Put two dashes before eight. These dashes before one is nothing but one less than one. One less than one is zero. Dashes before eight is nothing but one more than eight. One more than eight is nine. Now let us make it even more simpler, sir. Let us make it even more simpler. Now listen to my statements carefully. I want to find triple nine whole square. If I have triple nine whole square, my answer will have two nines. If the question consists of three nines, my answer will have two nines. If the question consists of four nines, my answer will have how many nines? Three nines. And then followed by eight. Followed by eight. If the question consists of three nines. Answer will have two zeros. If the question consists of four nines, answer will have three zeros followed by one. I believe the idea or the concept is very very clear. Suppose, tell me the answer for nine written five times whole square. Nine 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 whole square. Answer should be. Question consists of five nines. Answer will have four nines followed by eight. Four zeros. Followed by one. I believe the idea is very very clear. Same logic is applicable for only six. Suppose for example, I have to find triple six whole square. Six square is thirty six. Write down thirty six. If there are three six, answer will have two dashes. Two dashes. These dashes will be one less than six five. These dashes will be one more than three four. Answer is double four three double five six. Same logic for if I want to find four six. Six whole square. Answer will have three fours followed by three, three fives followed by six. Tell me the answer for double six whole square. If the question consists of two six, answer will have one four followed by three, one five. Followed by six. Double six whole square can be found out by using a plus b whole square. Also, can be found out by using the technique what we discussed for squares of numbers from 36 to 75. This is yet another method to find double six whole square. Use any method, you will get the same answer. That is the beauty of learning through concepts. Suppose, for example, same analogy for only three, sir. 
Suppose I want to find triple three whole square. Six square is thirty six. Two digit format. Nine square is eighty one. Two digit format. Three square is nine. Two digit format is zero nine. Three threes are there. Two dashes. Two dashes. One less than nine is eight. One more than zero is one. Answer is double one zero double eight nine. Suppose I have to find three 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 whole square. Answer will be triple one zero triple eight nine. We discussed how to find the squares of numbers from twenty six to thirty five. Suppose in that case I have thirty three square. If I use that method, what we discussed there, thirty three and twenty five difference is how much, sir? It is eight. Twenty five minus eight is seventeen. Seventeen square is two eighty nine. Add eight hundred for two eighty nine. Eight hundred plus two eighty nine is one zero eight nine. Same logic if I use it here. Thirty three. If there are three threes, answer will have two ones. If there is one three, answer will have one one. Followed by zero. Followed by eight. Followed by nine. Same answer you will get it. The beauty of learning concept is nothing but learning the problems or concepts in this logic. Connecting the dots is something which I am always interested with, and I will make sure that I will try my level best to simplify the problem to the greater extent, sir. Now please see this next concept. How to find? How to find the square root of any number? <coughs> very very easy and interesting and important concept. How to find the square root of any number? Now listen carefully, sir. Suppose for example, you take any number of your choice, right? You take any number of your choice, any number. It will range. The unit digit of a number will range from zero to nine, right? Unit digit of a number will range from zero to nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Unit digit of any number will range from zero to nine. Now, I will square all these things. I will square all these things, and I will take the square of unit digit of the square, right? Unit digit of square of the number I will take. That means zero square will end with zero itself. One square is one, two square is four, three square is nine, four square is sixteen. Sixteen unit digit is six. Five square is twenty-five. Twenty-five unit digit is five. Six square is thirty-six. Unit digit is six. Seven square forty-nine. Eight square sixty-four. Nine square eighty-one. Right? Nine square eighty-one. Now, can I say that? Think logically, sir. Can I say that unit digit is nothing but the last digit or the ending digit? Can I say that? If I square all these numbers, then they will become a perfect square, right? Sixteen is a perfect square. Twenty-five is a perfect square. Thirty-six is a perfect square. And I am taking the unit digit of those perfect squares, right? Unit digit of those perfect square. A perfect square. Can have unit digit as one. It can have unit digit as four. It can have unit digit nine. It can have it as six. It can have it as five. It can have zero, but it should have even number of zeros if it has to be a perfect square. Very very important point. Can I say that a perfect square, a perfect square. It can end with one, four, nine, six, and five. But can it end with two? No, it cannot end with two. A perfect square can never end with. A perfect square can never end with. Can it end with two, sir? No, it is not possible. It cannot end with three. It cannot end with seven. It cannot also end with eight. Very, very important point for your examination perspective. A perfect square can never end with two, three, seven, or eight. Very, very important point. Using this point also, we will solve some of the questions actually to get the answers in the much more easiest and very beautiful method. A perfect square. If square can never end with two, three, seven, or eight, and the other thing that you need to know from this particular concept is, if a perfect, if a number is ending with one, if a perfect square is ending with one, then 
the number actually will end with 1. If a perfect square is ending with 4, the number will end with 2. If a perfect square is ending with 9, the number will end with 3 and so on. I believe the idea is clear, sir. That means, can I say that any perfect square ending with 1 it can the number will end with either 1 because 1 square is 1 or it will end with 9 because 9 square also will be 81 1 a perfect square ending with 4 number will end with 2 or the number will end with 8 these are all something which you are already aware of a perfect square ending with 9 number will end with 3 or it will end with 7 because 3 square is 9, 7 square is also 49 ending with 9. A perfect square ending with 4, 6, number will end with 4 or number will end with 6. A perfect square ending with 5 will always end, the number will end with 5 itself. This is something which you can learn from this particular screen and you already know this particular concept. Now listen carefully sir.